Hey everyone, I know post lunch sessions can feel kind of long, but then we have the coffee break after this, so yeah. Uh, well, today I'll be taking you guys through a you know, very interesting use case of HA proxy, which we don't generally focus on. So I'm Gurusi Singh, and let's move forward. I'm not sure if everyone over here has read the abstract. Even if they do, I'm not sure if they remember. So let me go through it once. Now, building resilient and highly available infrastructure is of the utmost importance in today's world. And the principal part of such design is a load balancer, obviously. Now, while HA proxy is easy to set up, it can become tedious to manually include new servers in the massive production environment with hundreds of newly installed servers to have its settings applied you know, immediately. Now, the question is, how do we accomplish this? Among the many powerful configuration management tools available out there, you know, we have settled on Ansible. We can use an Ansible playbook to automate the whole process of starting web servers and including them directly in the HO proxy configuration. So by the end, we'll have learned how, how we can accomplish this in the bare metal and AWS as well. Okay, let's move forward. Oh, the definitions. Now we have Ansible, HO proxy, and AWS. Enhanceable will be considering the playbox, the inventory, and the configuration as well. That will play an important role. Now, <clears throat> Enhanceable, inventory. The inventory file is basically the whole file which, contain, uh, which contains the list of servers. Now, configuration is for all the logging, logging exam, etc. Playbooks, uh, playbooks are the scripts we use to run the whole code. Now, HA proxy doesn't need any introduction, I believe. And in AWS, we'll be mainly looking at EC2 and its and the services revolving around, like such as security group, VPC. Now, the setup overview. We'll be using two setups, a bare metal one and the AWS one. So, we'll be using VirtualBox for the bare metal and AWS. Then, we can use any Linux, but I'd prefer Red Enterprise Linux for more in you know, an easier con context, and it's a proxy. So, four tools are more than enough. Let's move forward. The basic requirements for this, not really much. We just need the virtual servers. That's all. The rest, we can do everything easily. Ansible needs to be installed, but if it's, even if it's not installed, we just need a simple command. Now, let's look at the configuration for the bare metal. Uh, now, we start with the host. Load balance. I'll explain why it's written that way. Now, when it comes to Ansible, it's best to write down the steps in the sequential manner, one by one, like what are we supposed to do? So initially, we'll install HAProx in the load balancer server, then starting the services and updating the configuration file. I'll be showing the configuration file as well. Now, next is for configuring the web servers. How do you config configure them? Using Apache web server. PHP, then copying the content of the, this is just copying the PHP code for the same and then starting the service. Pretty straightforward. Now, here's the main part of focus. The HA proxy configuration. All we need is four lines of code. Uh, it's written in Jinja template used by Ansible. So uh, this is basically, uh, this concept is basically called templates in Ansible. Using this, we can automate the whole process. So it will be in the GA2 extension. Now, the PHP code. Okay, so we have started the servers. Everything is running fine, but how do we confirm that it's working well? Now, this code, this will, we'll use this code to display the IP address of the server. So we can just refresh the page, open the incognito mode, open the page in incognito mode and get it done. Next. So, this is how it's gonna be in the end. I've, I've just used one over here so that it's, it's clear for the audience. So we run the playbook and this is what we get directly using this using this Jinja code. Now let's move look at the more practical one, which is AWS, and that will be used by everyone. Now, before we get started, we need to focus on a couple of things. AWS uses the Boto3 library by Python to work. So we need Python, we need Boto3 library, and then there are two important files. Now, there are two ways of playing around with AWS using Ansible. One is a 
you know manual way which is kind of tedious and not really recommended now and there's another way ansible the stable versions of ansible actually they provide two files ec2py and ec2ini using these files we can configure the dynamic inventory for ansible so we don't have we won't have to manually include the servers you know all the ip address and username in the inventory file now these files need to be in the same folder folder and they need to be executable many times the file is not executable and that's where the setup falls down then we have the variables for the uh, the region the access key we, we can add them in the ansible secrets but just for reference i've made them the global variable over here now the private key for aws needs to be executable as well because if it's not executable it won't work with ansible at all moving forward now the configuration for file for ansible now we have the defaults we can modify the default host key checking must be false or else you might face issues like it's not really recommended for production but at least for testing then we have ask pass again remote user will be using ec2 user because that's the default one provided and the private key okay next privilege escalation this this is kind of important because we need all the commands to be running as root and not just the regular user now so again the vas.yml for the access key secret yeah so this is the main yaml file which will be used for aws now what do we have tag name load balancer why i'll explain that later so we have the variables hp proxy board web port we have the tasks again installing hp proxy configuration file starting the service and restarting as handler then we have the web servers over here the same thing again apache web server php the code like for reference i've used the different module over here so that you know the audience gets to know that we don't really have to copy a file we can just write it directly over here then next i'm starting the service and handlers so this is how it's gonna be like the basic one we can add most of obviously now we don't really wish to start the aws servers or manually right now we can use this <coughs> you can this you can you can we can just use this to start the instances now i have a I have one for load balancer and for one web server now as you can see their name is load balancer not tag name again here it's web server not tag name it's, but we use the tag name for you because it it's mandatory with the ec2 dot in it now again the configuration file we have the similar code over here on robin method jinja file uh, percentage for a in groups so here we have the tag name tag name web server and we have the port over here again the loop all okay. next now finally what are the important commands over here so uh, we generally use the modules directly we list the host over here in ansible the command so any for ec2 we'll be using this ansible ec2 using that python code we can achieve this and the python code it's pretty safe because it's provided by ansible directly and we can only find it in the stable versions not the test versions in the github so we can use the host now it's important to verify the connections before running the playbooks for that we have this ec2m ping and finally we run the ansible playbooks using this command ansible playbook main yaml now okay so i wanted to show you guys the demo pretty straightforward but then due to the time constraint i couldn't do it yeah so so questions yeah another point all this can be achieved with containers as well it's pretty straightforward just a little tweaks and it all works great thank you Thank you, Gershma. Great job. Thank you. Okay, we do have uh, some a short time for questions. So again, if you do have a question, please raise your hand high so we can see you and bring a microphone around. And I'm just looking here in the stream chat. Okay, so there's a question on the stream. 
Uh, so you spend a lot of time with students. Uh, so the question is, do you have any advice to share with people who are junior or more junior in the field, just starting out? Uh, well, I would say everyone's journey is personal. So look at everyone, but create your own path. That's what I would suggest, because not everything was the same for everyone. That would be my experience, yeah. Create your own path. Yep. Thank you for your presentation. Yeah. Uh, I've seen that you are using AWS Secret ID and etc. Are you using any tool like Ansible Vault to secure this credential or AWS Secret Manager? Yes, as mentioned, we can use Ansible Secrets. I didn't use Ansible Secrets to keep the presentation simple over here. Because many of the people, they might not be aware of Ansible Secrets. That would add an extra layer for the presentation. I just wanted to keep it simple so that the main focus can be on you know, setting up the web servers. Okay. So we can use Ansible Secrets for that, and it will be all secure. OK, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> that was the same question. Yeah. OK, if there are no further questions, um, thank you so much, Gersima. I really appreciate it, and wonderful job. Thank you.